it's now my pleasure to introduce something that's really exciting for us this year. It's something brand new to the Ag Tech Summit, and it's based on the generosity of the Brandt Foundation. I'm going to be joined here um, by the Brandt Foundation representatives, and that includes Carl, who I think, just making sure I've got Carl live as well, and Carl Barnhart, um, who's the Chief Marketing Officer, will be telling us more about this award. But let me just start with a little bit of an introduction. So I got introduced to Carl. This was just a few months ago. And that was through, I'll say, Chris Harbert, who's one of our entrepreneurs in residence and will be speaking later on carbon credits today. He's also a board member for Brandt. And he was telling me more about the Brandt story. It's a company that began here in central Illinois through the hard work of its founder, um, who you'll hear referred to as GB in the video that will describe its history, and through his hard work and tenacity in building a business that sold that served farmers, he was able to grow it into a large company based in Springfield, Illinois. But sadly, he passed away in the last year, and in his honor, the Brandt Foundation really wanted to be able to highlight entrepreneurship, and that hustle that makes it possible for innovation really to change the way we do things. And as part of that, we were really fortunate to be one of the recipients uh, of that generosity. And we now have a Brandt Foundation prize that we will be giving out year after year at this summit. So I'm gonna let the Brandt Foundation tell a little bit more in their own words about the significance of the family and their founder and how he got this company started. Carl, do you want to tell us a little bit more? Laura, thank you for that wonderful introduction. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate the word that you used in your introduction, which was hustle. That was that was GB. That was my that was my friend Glenn Brandt. And on behalf of the extended and global Brandt family, thank you very much for allowing us to be a part of the Ag Tech Innovation Summit. We, we very much appreciate this. And for those of you who don't know Brandt, we were founded 68 years ago by a brother-sister duo from Pleasant Plains, Illinois. Today, we're 800 employees and we're serving growers in about 80 countries around the world. And 2020 was, was bad for all of us and it was particularly rough on, on the family here at Brandt because we lost GB. We lost our founder after 94 years. Um, and I had the pleasure of working with, with GB and befriending him for the last 15 years. And even in the twilight of his career, he had a passion for agriculture. He was a dynamic force in agriculture. He never lost his keen focus on business, on agriculture, and especially Illinois growers. He literally built a business from nothing. He did it by embracing new ideas, by taking risks, and by trusting his employees. And that's the legacy that we want to celebrate with this. This entrepreneurial approach is what makes Brandt special. It's what makes Illinois Ag special. So there's no better way than to pay that forward and to celebrate that spirit and that entrepreneurism. Very quick sidebar, when I was a kid growing up on a farm, Ma, and we'd get all these magazines. My favorite feature in the magazines was successful farmers, ideas from the farm. I don't know if you remember that, but it was this, you know, this black and white page of ideas and somebody would, would, would make a hundred dollars off the best idea that month. I'd run to the mailbox. I'd, 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 I'd sort through successful farming to find who won that year because that was my fellowship to the ag community was to see what my fellow farmers were doing that was innovative. And that's what the GB prize is writ large. But rather than having me tell you about it, I think Laura is gonna queue up a little video from the person who was with GB for all 94 years, which is his big sister, Evelyn Brandt Thomas. With GB being the entrepreneur, he had a great instinct on uh, how things were going to work. I mean, we were pioneers that very first year when he was uh, applying, a custom applying anhydrous ammonia. It was my dad's, my dad's tractor. And then at night, they'd drive to Sullivan and fill up the truck and 
probably didn't get to bed till midnight and was up at daylight again out there spreading the fertilizer again. So our first customer, you know, he stood at the end of the row with his arms crossed and said, you know, looks, you know, looks like water to me. When the fall came and he was harvesting his crop, he said, oh, that's not been water after all. So we, we, we took a lot of risk. GB was always thinking, what, what can we get into next? When we started with the uh, micronutrients, because we did, it was all, you know, pretty new. And, co and of course, there's one that just blossomed into whatever, you know. He, he was a visionary. He was a visionary that, that gets out there and takes, takes a risk. But as far as entrepreneurs, I think you, you can put Glenn at the top of the list. Well, it, nothing's impossible. You, you just have to uh, set your sight on it. Believe in yourself. Number one, you got to believe in yourself and, and, go, and, go, and go for it. Well, Carl, thanks for bringing us that story from founder Evelyn Brandt. And um, it's really a pleasure to be able to recognize Glenn Brandt with this prize. So let's tell them a little bit more. You said you grew up on a farm. I know you were part of 4-H and I know you know how hard farmers are working. And so that's why it was so exciting to work with Carl and our partners across the University of Illinois, including the College of ACES, to try to solicit ideas for who we should recognize this first year. And I'd like to thank everybody who nominated producers, farmers across the region. Um, this included an opportunity to recognize a farmer who was showing entrepreneurship on their own operations with a connection to the University of Illinois. And we defined that pretty broadly. And it was great to read the submissions and see how many people are doing amazing things. So it's hard to narrow down to just one. But it turned out that we had one farmer that had multiple nominations and a lot of love and should I say spirit for their work. Uh, and that includes our nomination that turned that was uh, nominated by both faculty on campus as well as the integrated bioprocessing research lab bringing us to our first award winner, which is going to be Will Glazik, who's joining us with barrels behind his head because their family farm in Paxton, Illinois is producing whiskey. In addition to being a place that's now making different types of spirits and brews, it's also um, their reputation as a farming family that's helping other farmers. So he's developed a farming network that talks about best practices, whether those are cover crops or other modernization that they're implementing on their own farm or sharing the experiences of farmers throughout Illinois. I'm gonna let Will tell you more about what they're up to, and hopefully he'll tell you more about Silver Tree Beer and Spirits and their plans for growth in Paxton. Will and Carl. Hi, thank you very much. This was uh, very exciting. Um, I'm standing now in the barrel house at Judson and Moore uh, Distillery. Uh, one of the distilleries that we sell grain to from our farm. Uh, we started in 2015 selling wheat to uh, breweries, and then that blossomed into 2017 starting our own uh, distillery. And on top of that, we, we began selling other grain to uh, other distilleries and breweries. It was uh, a way that we could take some of the grain um, that we felt was undervalued and uh, turn it into a product that was in a uh, very customer facing and, and something we can take a lot of pride of. And, uh, I was doing a little research on, on GB after I was uh, told I was awarded this grant. And, and I, I really like that word hustle. Uh, <clears throat> how when he got out of the war in Korea, he found uh, anhydrous ammonia and, uh, a phosphoric acid. So he was taking what were surplus products from the war effort and turning it into a way to make more profitability for the farmers in his area. And I thought that was that was really cool. And how him and Evelyn worked really hard to to make ends meet. I think for a time they're living off of her husband's uh, salary while they're trying to get the business going. Uh, that quite a quite a role model to look up to. Well, I just want to say on behalf of the, the, the foundation and the family, we've actually had our eye on you for a while and, and for what Lasik Farm is doing. And, and 
we couldn't have picked a better person and a better organization and a better business to win this inaugural prize. I did have one message that I needed to pass along to you from 98 year old Evelyn Brant Thomas. And that is you, you owe her some vodka because the secret <laughs> of life tells us all is a vodka every day and you better come through for her, my friend. I think we can definitely make that happen. Uh, we we're pretty excited. Uh, we just purchased our own still. We've been contracting distilling for, for a few years and we're going to be setting up a, uh, a physical location in Paxson here pretty soon. So I, I definitely can get her some vodka. Well, I think cheers are in order. And if it were five o'clock, we might be enjoying your products, but it sounds like there might even be an opportunity to taste them in Paxton. This is going to be a $10,000 award to Will Glazik through the generosity of the Brandt Foundation. I think we're gonna show uh, you getting that check just this week on your farm. Um, I do want to point out a couple other things about Will. He is an alum of the University of Illinois, where he graduated from the Crop Sciences Department. And maybe, Will, you can talk a little bit more of how you've worked with the University of Illinois more recently with the Department of Food Science and Nutrition to try to improve the whiskey based on the bioproducts you're using right here from the cultivation of farmland. Yeah, absolutely. I, I work uh, with the University of Illinois quite a bit. Uh, this, this current research project we're working on is trying to figure out if there's flavor differences between different varieties of corn. So we're looking at some older varieties from the mid 1800s to early 1900s uh, and comparing that to the, the standard yellow dent variety. Uh, we're going to run it for flavor and characteristics. Uh, another, so we're going to have a, a formal tasting panel as well as an informal tasting panel. And there seems to be a lot of interest in being on that informal panel. Um, another thing that, that we're doing, and this got started in collaboration with Adam Davis, uh, department chair of uh, crop sciences, is like you talked about the, the outreach. We started the Idea Farm Network, which has blossomed from 45 members originally to now over 400 throughout the Midwest. And that's a, a learning community of farmers and researchers where people can do on-farm trials or post about mistakes that happen. And then it's uh, the network that people can share ideas and, and talk about how to pull out of problems and, and things of that nature. Well, congratulations. You see Will with his check. We hope it goes to good use and has some economic development actually right here in our region, Ford County and Paxton. And I think this is on your farm in Rantoul, Illinois. So thank you for all the work you do. And thank you to Carl and the Brandt Foundation and the Brandt family for making this award possible this year. Thank you very much.